We're now going to look at the first type of ohmic contact. That's something called a non-rectifying barrier ohmic contact. Okay, so let's look at our Schottky junction uh, versus our non-rectifying ohmic contact. So over on the left, we have the uh, band diagrams for the Schottky junction. First, before the materials go into contact, and then after the materials are put into physical contact. The important feature uh, of the Schottky junction um, was that we looked at the case where the uh, work function of the metal was larger than the work function of the semiconductor, or this work function here of the metal is larger than that of the semiconductor. So when we put them into contact, initially the, the Fermi level of the semiconductor is higher than that of the metal. We had electrons flowing from the semiconductor into the metal and that causes that depletion region to form and the the conduction valence band to bend upwards. Now for the ohmic contact we're gonna have the opposite case. Okay so we're going to choose a metal that has a work function that's less than the semiconductor work function in order to make one of these ohmic contacts. So that band diagram before the materials are put into contact looks like this so the metal work function is less than the semiconductor work function. That means when I put the materials into contact I'm going to have electrons flowing from the metal into the semiconductor. So the opposite from our, our Schottky junction case. And what that does is that will cause the bands to bend the opposite way. They'll bend down uh, right near the, uh, the metallurgical junction. So in this case, the, the, the electrons are moving from the metal uh, to the semiconductor. So as you can see, um, I have no barrier at all for electrons going from the metal, uh, sorry, from the semiconductor to the metal. No barrier to electrons moving in this direction. And I have a relatively small barrier, so there is still a potential barrier here, but it's a much smaller barrier um, than in the Schottky junction case for electrons moving from the metal to the semiconductor. So this kind of contact allows uh, about the same amount of current flow in either direction.